Welcome to Device in 666. I'm one of your hosts, Brian, and I'm joined with my other host, Karen. And this is another episode in our series about concert posters. Yes. What's this one about, Karen? This is Metallica 40th Night 1. Right. So we've got episodes on the travel show yep. as well as the night travel two. poster. The travel poster, not travel show, right? Yeah. And the Night 2 poster. Night 2, yep. So let's go ahead and start our timer now for Night 1. So. As we said with night two, we got two posters for night two with yep. the intent of selling one of them and using the money we've generated from that to buy yes. uh, a night one. Yeah, we weren't doing it for profit. We were doing it so we had funds to buy night one, like secondary. Yeah, and the, and the hope was it would, you know, level out or at least it'd be a little bit less that we have to pay, you know? Yeah, like yeah, out of pocket. Sell for 100 buy one for 150 type. Yeah, thing. yeah, that sort of thing. Uh, depending on what the, you know, the content, the imagery, and, and all of that, you know, could dif- be a different price for the... Or just people gouge prices. That too, whatever it is. So that was the thought. However, I thought, you know, let's... I, I've been on the Metallica forums on their webpage, like fifth members, if you log in, they have like a form. Um, I've seen forms on there for concert posters and stuff like that. So I posted on there being like, hey, I have a night two poster. If anybody has an extra night one poster, I'd love to trade with you. And got a few hits super yeah, quick. Yeah, really fast, yeah. Um, and you didn't even know really how to use it. To I didn't like know, know how to like reply to somebody. <laughs> I didn't know if, if that was appropriate for the forms to be doing or what. So I we tried it, got a hit. Yeah, um, it worked out. The person's like, yeah, I've got an extra one. I'll gladly trade you. Yeah, and they were driving into the city that night, or into San Francisco that night or something. Yeah, I don't know. I think they're around the Bay Area. I yeah, they are. What yeah, they were, yeah. but yeah. Um, ended up meeting them in the lobby of the hotel, traded yep. our one for theirs, Yep. and it worked out for everyone. Everybody got, you know, they didn't have to come in early and struggle to try to get a night two poster. Boom, it, it just a one-for-one yeah. one trade. And we didn't have to do the whole, like, try to sell ours for a price so we could buy the night one. Like, that was the thing that I was kind of like, oh, I don't want to sell it and then have to pay double for night one or something. So. Yeah, and I was super happy, like, that it just worked out. Yeah, and we yeah. Were, and like, like we said in that night two episode, I went in expecting not to be able to get these posters. I expected yeah. to have to go onto eBay and buy them. Afterwards. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And just like the night one, there were 2,000 of these posters. Yep. I think we've got 421. 421, yeah. Yeah, I think so. So I'm assuming she got 420. Um, which is a fun <laughs> maybe, number. Maybe, maybe. Um, I don't know. They uh, could have just got different numbers. Could have, or yeah, exactly. But yeah, no, that's that's cool. Um, let's talk about the imagery a little bit. I know you like this one a lot. I like better. this one better than Night Two because, like, Night Two is like the dragon snake thing, and I I don't know. It's it's fine. It just takes up the whole thing, and it's not very. Eh, I don't know. It's fine, but this one is uh, for werewolves like running down a mountain or a hill. And then you have the Golden Gate Bridge in the background and a graveyard with skulls. And I don't know. It's just, it's so much better than night two. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it's the four members of the band of Wolf and Man, right? Like yep. charging San Francisco, taking it over. Um, basically what they did. Again, yeah. the little tentacle of Cthulhu, I think, at the top. Yeah. This one I can see a little bit better than um, night one. I thought... Or Night 2, I'm sorry. I'm I'm getting confused. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like I said, with Night 2 and how they kind of face each other, like the wolves are facing and charging to the right. Yeah. And the serpent was to the left. Yeah, I think it would have been um, cool if, like, for Night 2, if if the serpent would have been, like, over San Francisco. Yeah. And then it would have really came together of, like... And maybe they weren't supposed to go together. Maybe not. But that's just how I see it. Yeah, because I think that would have been really cool. Also, like, just nitpicking again of the art, like... The tentacle for what I think is Cthulhu is again on the right as it was oh, on the other one. Yeah. If you're gonna actually do that, put that on the left because then it like it, it, it goes together. It. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Um, the imagery is cool. I do like the San Francisco Bridge in the back charging it. You clearly tell it's San Francisco with that little like it's so iconic that when yeah, you see that yeah. like that's San Francisco. Yeah. One um, of our favorite cities. So. Yeah. Exactly. You see Sears Tower, you know that Chicago. Yeah. You know. And like this one, I feel like. The skulls come out better than uh, night two as well, yeah. um, where they're more visible. Where the other ones are like just down at the bottom a little bit, and these like they they stand out more. And so I think we got all these framed night one, night two, and the yeah, travels all, four all of them. together because yep. I mean they're they are set. We intend to put them all on the wall, very yep. next to each other, yep. like close. We have a Metallica wall. Now we do because yeah. we've got a few others, <laughs> or at least 
Yeah, two others. Yeah, yeah to yep. put up there. Um, again, we went with the double mat. Yep. Sort of this um, brownish mat, which ties in really well, well with the wolves. Yes, and like the oranges and yep. like the skulls are orange and the wolves have orange and the sky is orange. And there's a little bit of purple in, in the art itself, which we then went with a purple mat. Yep. I love this this mat. It's a felt mat It is, also. yeah. Yeah, it's like textured. So there's a lot of texture. But when you look at it, like it just, it, it reminds me of fur of like the wolf almost, right? Oh, like okay. it's It's sort of flowy and... It's, I don't know. I really like that texture. I like that that combination. It reminds me of just looking at the wolf's fur in the piece. Um, it I don't know. I get that sense from that, and it's so cool. Um, I, I, I love all that. And then we get to the frame itself. I don't know if you remember this. This is not actually the frame we picked out. No, I didn't know if this was the poster, but yeah. We, we picked out a frame that we liked a lot. Um, I don't remember what it looked like, though. I can't honestly now either no. remember what it was. I know when we got it, they were telling us, hey, this is either out of stock or it's been hard to get. We might not be able to get this in, but we'll try. And that's the one we picked out. When there were like four or five other ones we were going through and trying to pick out. Um, got a text message from from Foresighted being like, yeah, we we can't get that frame. Sorry. Um, what Do you, you want to come back in and sort of pick out something new for this. They had everything else done. They had the mats done mm-hmm. um, and the glass cut for it. They just need to get the right frame. And honestly, I was like, no, like whatever you think is best, go with it. Yeah. And they sent, he, he was still like, all right, well, let me put something together for you. And <laughs> he took out the samples, put like, you can do this, this or this. And I think he may have only sent me one or two or just the one. And I was like, yeah, that's that's perfect. And this is the one we went with. Um, I, I can't remember what we picked originally. I like this a lot. I think it goes really too. well. I do too, yeah, yeah. Is this like it's kind black of, brown? Yeah, it's this dark brown sort of wood, but like this yeah. textured wood. Like, it, I don't I don't know. It, it kind of goes good with like the wolf fur, but then also like if they're going down a mountain, like a trees and stuff. That's what I was yeah. going to say, yeah, like a tree yeah. branch almost yeah. um, is what, uh, what it's like. Yeah. No, I, I like the frame, and I, I didn't know that this was the poster that they didn't have the frame for. But, I mean, we trust them, so, I mean, it turned out really, really really well. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad, and then we're at time. How it all played together, I, I love. I don't know if we said this. Wolf Skulljack did this one as well. She did Yes, she did them. both of them. Yep. She didn't do the travels, but she did the two main shows. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, love this one. And that's going to conclude the 40th posters. Yes, that's all of them. Travel, night one, night two. Yep. So hope you enjoyed those. If you did, uh, expect more to come. We have a few other posters to talk about. And this series is going to go on for a while because we're going to keep buying yeah, posters. it's going to go on forever. <laughs> and it's going to take a while to get all framed. Yes. So, well, thanks, everybody. Thanks.